I've looked at Ubuntu Unity in the past and praised it for providing a solid Ubuntu experience with the features of the Unity desktop. And since then, it's seen a lot of improvements that enhance the Unity experience even further than it was before. Now, there's certainly a lot of discussion to be had around some of Canonical's recent decisions around Ubuntu itself, but today I'll be focusing primarily on the aspects specific to Ubuntu Unity, that is, the things that they do well and the things that they could work to improve. As a refresher for the uninitiated, Ubuntu used to use versions of the GNOME desktop back in the day, much like they do today. But in 2010, with the impending release of the GNOME 3 desktop, which drastically changed the user interface, Canonical decided to instead change the user experience in their own drastic way by creating their own desktop environment called Unity. The short-term goal of Unity was to provide a cleaner and more understandable experience on the Ubuntu desktop, and their long-term ambition was for Unity to be the interface for all manner of devices ranging from desktops to smartphones. Now that didn't quite work out as Canonical hoped, with the whole Ubuntu Touch concept for phones and tablets kind of falling pretty flat, but the Unity desktop did go from slow and buggy upon initial launch to a pretty fast and powerful experience over the next few years. While Canonical ultimately decided to cut their losses and discontinue Unity in 2017, switching back to the now not so bad GNOME, both the Unity desktop and its touch variants do live on through impressive community efforts. So with that out of the way, we'll start with what's new here in Ubuntu Unity 2304, as there are some nice additions. Firstly, the Dash, Unity's application, settings, everything launcher, has received a bit of a facelift, now taking up more vertical space alongside the dock while not extending out as far across the screen. This makes better use of screen space while still providing just as much information. As well, the category icons, known as lenses for some reason, are also moved to the top of the Dash rather than being at the bottom. This also just makes a lot of sense and puts them within closer reach of the mouse after opening the dash. This revamped dash interface is actually based on a pre-release concept from Ubuntu 16.04, which is pretty cool, and I'm glad they've adopted it here. The dock panel has also seen some visual improvement. Now it's slightly larger, as well as translucent by default, which they say should make it look quite a bit better in light mode and with light theming. There's also been some improvements to the notification system, which will now let you see any past notifications that appeared while you were away from your computer. And finally, a massive new addition to the latest version of Unity is one that I can't really demonstrate yet, but it will definitely become very powerful over time, and that's the implementation of desktop widget functionality, a lot like desklets on the Cinnamon desktop. This is thanks to a system called U-Widgets, or Unity Widgets, and while they don't appear to be any yet, Ubuntu Unity 2304 does have native support for them, and it's said to be working on a center to download them from. So, as those do release, you'll be able to start using them here. All in all, these are a lot of really nice improvements over the past six months from 22.10. If you enjoyed the Ubuntu Unity experience before, then you should definitely enjoy it now. I haven't looked at Ubuntu Unity for a good year and a half now, and there have been significant foundational changes since I've last given my thoughts in early 2022. For starters, Ubuntu Unity no longer ships with the standard GNOME software app by default, instead just including the Synaptic Package Manager. I personally like this change as it solves a prior issue of having two places for app updates that often showed conflicting information. Now, software is installed or removed in Synaptic, and updates are handled through the standard Ubuntu software updater. That said, some users may still wish to install GNOME software or something similar to have a more user-friendly package manager, and one that can also support Flatpak or Snap packages. As great as Synaptic is, it's not the most user-friendly or visually appealing package manager around. On the subject of prior issues that have been resolved, though, 
I am also pleased to say that Firefox now properly incorporates the system theme instead of always being blindingly bright, even when using the dark theming. And the appearance page in the standard system settings app now lets you properly switch between the built-in themes without the need to use the Unity Tweak tool. However, on that note, for those advanced settings that you might want to change, the Unity Tweak tool is installed out of the box now, which is nice to have, because there's a pretty good chance that if you enjoy using the Unity desktop on a day-to-day -day basis, you're probably going to want to touch some of those settings, and it was always a bit of a pain to have to go out of your way to download a separate tool. It's incredibly refreshing to come back to Ubuntu Unity over a year and a half later to find that nearly all of the criticisms I had before, albeit rather minor ones, have been resolved here. If that's not the definition of providing a good user experience, then I don't know what is. And I do think that Ubuntu Unity is a worthy contender for one of the best flavors of Ubuntu. While I'm not so sure that Ubuntu is actually the best distro for new users these days, people that are already familiar with it may find the Unity option to be really nice. It's fast, powerful, makes efficient use of screen real estate, and seems just about as stable as any other variant of Ubuntu out there. And with Ubuntu Touch living on through the efforts of UB ports, Having the Unity experience on your computer, tablet, and phone could be an actual possibility these days. Though to be fair, with apps like KDE Connect, there are plenty of other options out there these days for connectivity between all your devices. But I'd be curious to hear your thoughts about the Unity desktop or what your favorite desktop environment is. Do let me know in the comments section. If you've enjoyed this video, then a like is greatly appreciated. And subscribing to the channel and marking that notification bell ensures you won't miss future content. I thank you so much for watching, and look forward to seeing you next time on Planet Linux. There's a random folder that came on here. What's in here? Is this like a sample video or something? What is this? What the heck am I watching? Why? Why is this here? Why did this come on here? Um. Okay. I'm so confused. What the heck did I just watch?